y'all hey welcome back to taylor chanel tv in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to refresh and style miss emery's hair she's had this current style for about a week or so which is just um four sections at the top or at the front of her head and i put them in four ponytails twisted them and wrapped them around for a little bantu knots and i left the back out and like curly so i will show you guys how i do that toward the end but we're just going to go in and do a quick refresh so i'm spraying down her hair with water lots of water because she has super dry hair just like mine so whenever we're styling it i have to make sure it's low-key like soaking wet so i want to switch her style up a little bit for the next four or five days so what i'm going to do is take that big back portion of her hair and part it down the middle so literally just taking the middle part from the top portion of her head and just bringing it straight back and essentially what i'm going to do is put it into ponytails in the back which you'll see um so i section her hair off and then i do the same thing again I'm going through spraying that water bottle water 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 i can't say it enough but we do that and I grab my products. So it is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Kids Curling Buttercream. Say that three times. But, and I also use a dab of virgin coconut oil, just a jar I picked up from Target. And I'll link them both below. So I just go ahead and rake that through her hair. Make sure that's fully saturated. Then I think I go in and comb it through, start from the into her hair and work my way up to the roots her hair is super 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 curly i really feel like she has my texture honestly but we'll see but i just know she needs lots of water and detangling is like a nightmare look look she over it y'all this 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 process don't be easy like I'm surprised I got this video down to like under 20 minutes just because mama takes me through so much to get it done. But um, generally she's all right. Just gotta keep her occupied. I think I had on like Moana or something. But right now I'm just brushing with her baby brush. I know you like, girl, her hair is way too um, thick for that. But I do still like to use it. But I do also take my Eco Styler gel and a toothbrush, dip the toothbrush in the gel, and I work on the parts of her hair closest to the part, if that makes sense. It's so like around the perimeter of the ponytail. Then I go in with the hard brush. Now that's the big boy, see? That's the big boy, that's what we need. You see that? I go in with the black rubber band, y'all, not the clear. I used the clear on her for like three months. And after that, every time she woke up, two or three of them be popped out her head. So I just went to the regular, regular black, like how we grew up. Or how I grew up, whatever. Go in, do the other side the same exact way. Put your water, put your um, Shea Moisture product, and your virgin coconut oil, and your water again. And brush it up, slap a black rubber band around it, and you're good to go. Right, so boom I know my parts ain't straight I am working on it y'all I'm a first time mom give me cubby some slack but you just have your two ponytails in the back now I'm getting started on the front
cut the rubber bands out so that I could like put more product and it gets some moisture all the way through it. But at the end, I'll be refreshing her hair again. So I'll show y'all how I refresh it without taking out the rubber band. So right now her hair is loose in the front and I took out all four of them. So I'm gonna go through and do all of them over again. Same product lined up. So you're gonna do your water, lots of water, water, water. Um, the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Buttercream in a brush. And don't forget your gel and your toothbrush for them edges. Because now we at the front where it matters the most. So you got to make sure you lay them down. So I'm just going to go through and do all for her ponytails. And that's it. to mention so that part when I put the little ponytails in at the front I two, st two strand twist them um, like you can see that one here and I'm going to do the, that to the rest of them Alright, so at this point I have all four of her little twists in at the front. So I'm going through with some Eco Styler Gel and my toothbrush and getting them edges laid. Um, I am still working on it. I don't even have baby hair, so I'm learning how to do baby hair for the first time with her hair. But I mean, it works out. I mean, I make it do what it do. And so that's the first hairstyle. You can just leave them hanging like that and you just have the two ponytails in the back you see she wasn't let, trying to let me be great is the next day no i won't say the next day so this is maybe four or five days later i think the last clip was me doing her hair on monday it's now friday night um, i was getting her hair done because she's going to her grandmother's house saturday morning so I'm going in, taking out the two puff balls in the back, and I'm going to do a variation of this hairstyle. Um, I like low maintenance hairstyles, like so. If I could keep these parts in, I'm gonna find a way to make them look different for as long as I can. So that's what I'll show you guys in this video. So water, water, water. That's the motto for this video: water, because it's 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 essential. It's essential for us all. We love that. We love water for us. So I'm going in, starting on one side of her hair, saturating it with water, and we're going to do a little different hairstyle. I'm going to split that part in half, basically. So I'm going to make a horizontal part, bring it from maybe like the top of her ear over to the center. Then I'm going to section that part up and work on the back portion. So what you're going to do again, water, you know it. And I'm then going to go in, same products, still the same um, Shea Moisture product that's linked below, the water bottle and some oil. Take my orange uh, wide tooth comb and my brush and put that in like ponytails like you have in the front, basically. Again, take your gel toothbrush, get the perimeter, make sure everything is smooth. Pop it in the ponytail. Now I'm going to show you how I twist it. Mm -hmm. 
again you just do the same process for the upper portion wet it with your product put in the ponytail and then from there oh i actually stopped and went back and twisted that portion down so now you see where i twisted just like i have the front twist and that one to sit there while i work on the top portion where we'll be connecting the two basically so i take my gel get that ponytail all sleek and slick and neat and then from there you'll see how i take that bottom twist and bring it up and pop a rubber band around the entire ponytail so it's like i don't know what it's actually called but i say it's like a stitch type look and i usually do more ponytails because i would also do a style where i go all the way up to the top So that's usually how that looks. Again, my parts aren't the best, but we, we making it do what it do, okay? So that's one side. And then the other side, boom. A whole nother hairstyle, y'all. A whole nother hairstyle. Then we're gonna work on the front. You can either take those two, like two to each side and bring them back for a full, just two ponytail look. But I decided to go ahead and just you know refresh her edges do the gel and the toothbrush trick i didn't take apart the twist this time um so i don't see it always necessary and it just takes more time for no reason so i try to get in and get out with her because y'all can see through this video she got a little agitated but she's more so just curious and nosy and she want to see what i'm doing <laughs> but i simply did her baby hairs refreshed every ponytail so um, took the gel and the toothbrush and slicked it all back, retwisted it. You can either leave it like that because the back is already a little different. But there's that. One hairstyle, but I like the Bantu knot look. So I went ahead and twisted them all around like that. Zoom in, let y'all get a close up. So I just do four little Bantu knots, clean up the back again, cause I'm a perfectionist, I try to be. I know my parts ain't straight, but some things just like would bother me. So I had to get her a little kitchen. And there's another style. So I was like, what, three in one, three in one. Band two knots at the top, stitch two ponytails in the back. Just from a refreshed hairstyle from like, at this point, like a week and a half. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll include a full 360 because she was super nosy. Also, I went in and if you really want to secure it, you put another rubber band around the band two knot. And there we have it. I took these with my little uh, Instagram filter, but cute, cute. That's the back. And two ponytails and the band two knots in the front with the baby hairs. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.